Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Speakeasy Cocktails, where I teach you how to make some of the best cocktails that history left behind. I'm your host, Joe the Bartender, and today we're going to learn all about the Apple Jack Rabbit. Now, this cocktail is a bit of an odd one. First and foremost, its main ingredient is Laird's Apple Jack, which is then mixed with orange and lemon juices before being topped off with maple syrup. By any and all accounts, this cocktail is a head-scratcher. Surprisingly, it's actually a really good cocktail, whose mixture of juices perfectly balance the sweetness of the maple syrup, resulting in a well-balanced, if slightly lower-proof cocktail. In 1927, right in the middle of Prohibition in America, Judge Jr. Publications put out a book called Here's How. But due to Prohibition, they couldn't actually say any names for alcohol, so they used clever codes to refer to the alcohol. Gordon Water was gin, McCarty was rum, and Applejack was a term used for apple brandy and whiskey. There were several other discrete codes, but luckily most were easily deciphered with a quick glance at the prologue. The book was printed every other year with updates and new drinks until the repeal of Prohibition. The code name for apple brandy came from the most predominant brand of apple brandy, Laird's Applejack. Well before Prohibition, in the late 1890s, Audrey Sanders, owner of the legendary Pegu Club in New York, convinced Lisa Laird, the CEO of Laird's, to produce and distribute her house brand of bonded apple whiskey. When the two partnered, Laird's Applejack quickly took the nation by storm. The bartenders of the Pegu Club created this and many other cocktails using the hot spirit of the time. Then when Prohibition hit, Laird's Applejack kinda died off. It was produced in America, so when all the factories got shut down, it immensely hurt the spirit. Luckily, it is still around today, albeit a little bit hard to track down. But I highly recommend keeping a bottle if you're into Prohibition era cocktails, as it tends to show up every now and again. On to my favorite part, making the drink. To make this cocktail, you're going to need the following things. Laird's Apple Jack. Any apple brandy or whiskey will do, but this is my preferred brand. Lemon. One medium-sized lemon for juicing. Orange or orange juice. Maple syrup. The original recipe calls for Deep Mountain Grade B maple syrup, but any maple syrup that isn't imitation works great. This cocktail is pretty easy to make, so just grab your tumbler and fill it with ice. After that, you want to grab your favorite apple brandy or whiskey and add two ounces to the glass. Then you want to squeeze three-fourths of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice into the tumbler. If you're using real lemons, it'll take about one and a half to two lemons. After that, you want to use fresh squeezed orange juice, also three-fourths of an ounce. Fresh squeezed is always preferred. And now for the weirdest ingredient, maple syrup. As long as you're using real maple syrup and not imitation, anything will do. And you want to add half an ounce of that to the tumbler. Once everything's in the tumbler, you want to shake it until it's nice and well mixed. It'll take a little bit longer because of the maple syrup. Once it's all mixed, strain it into your cocktail glass and you're all set. And there you have it, the Laird's Apple Jack Rabbit. Until next time, I'm your host, Joe the Bartender, and I'll see you in the speakeasies. Probably one of our best cocktails.